Last week's video was about conformity and its role in perpetuating religion. I talked about a series of groundbreaking studies on the subject by Dr. Solomon Ash. As it turns out, Ash had some famous students. One of these students was Dr. Stanley Milgram, but his research wasn't about conformity, it was about authority. A couple members of the Crocodile Army mentioned this in their comments on my last video, and it was as if you were reading my mind about my next topic. I mean, I know Krakistan is full of smart people, but if I believed in magic it would have made me wonder about your powers. Milgram's famous studies from the 1960s were about how far people would go in a situation where an authority figure would tell them to cause increasingly severe physical pain to another human being as part of an experiment. In the experiment, there was one learner and one teacher. The test subject thought that they were randomly picked to be the teacher, but in reality the learner was an actor, and all test subjects were given the role of teacher. The learner would answer questions from another room where the teacher could hear but not see them, and each time they gave a wrong answer, they were administered higher and higher voltage shocks by the teacher. The test subject would hear the increasingly painful exclamations of the learner and would usually be uncomfortable with it, many voicing their concerns with the experimenter. When the experimenter would tell them to continue though, most of them would keep going, even when they would hear the learner scream in agony or even fall unconscious. Dr. Milgram and his students expected some interesting results, but they did not expect that 65% of their test subjects would administer the shocks to the full 450 volt level on the authority of a researcher that they had just met for the first time. Can you see the implications of this? If most of us will listen to anyone in a lab coat that we just met and be that willing to damage another human being, how willing would we be if we were a member of an army and our commanding officer told us to torture or kill a civilian, especially if the person experiencing the pain was a prisoner of a race, religion, or nationality that we've been trained to hate? What would we do if we believed in God and thought that God himself hated the religion that the person belonged to? What would we do if we believed that God told us to kill our children because they would go to a better place? Sadly, we know the answers to these questions all too well. When I think about how easily led by authority we are, it is actually a wonder to me that there are not more mass murderers and terrorists in the world. It seems like anyone with a lab coat or an army uniform or religious garb can just put us into a subservient position. I ask the theists watching this that if we were made in God's image, what does this tendency to obey authority over all else say about your God? I ask the Tea Partiers watching this that since you think you're so anti-establishment that you reject government authority that you know can affect your life, why are you then so quick to embrace cosmic authority that you can't even see? I'm standing up to government authority! How can I serve you, God? Oh yeah, and one more thing. There was a variation of the experiment done where more than one teacher was in the room, but the other teachers were in on it too. And they checked to see if the test subject teacher would be more likely to also revolt against the authority figure if the other teachers did. It turns out that only 10% of these teachers would go to the highest voltage as opposed to 65% in the original study. I see a lot of interesting implications in all of this for authority, religion, politics, and more. But I want to hear what you think. You know what to do.